What's going on, Don't Unfriend Me Nation? Kids are cool. My son just came in and helped me readjust a camera. He was great on the show yesterday. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Did a great job. Episode 516. This is 517. This is the Don't Unfriend Me show. My name is Matthew Spear. I'm the host of Don't Unfriend Me. It's good to have you here. What do we do? Well, we just talk about a bunch of stuff. Today, I don't have anything prepared for you. I just printed out a couple sheets of paper. I was reflective. When I listened to Jason Aldean or I listened to Oliver Anthony, it seems that the last few days, this is all my time has been dedicated to, is defending people's rights to say whatever they want or to call out greed or corruption or stupidity or crime without people lashing back. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to do this again today, but this will be a little bit different. I, I was reflecting on and going through the annals of history and dusting off the coffers and the catacombs of literature throughout the days. And there were really two pieces of literature that I could find that encapsulate the dichotomy and delineation, big words, between where we were and where we are. And there is no better, in, in my opinion, than Maya Angelou. And, and I, I've read Tennyson, um, I've read Twain. Um, I have dabbled in in the in in the the alleyways of Thoreau. Um, listened to music that makes you think and consider whether it's KRS One or Simon and Garfunkel or Pink Floyd, and uh, of course all the movies and and the classic cinema and and even today and. The arts are important to me because I, I believe we learn so much about other people, but, but more importantly, a lot about ourselves through discovery, through the arts. So although I'm not an NEA supporter and I think it's a waste of money, I, I do from a liberal arts perspective do believe that it's necessary in school and education and everything else that we do. And Maya Angelou struck me at a very young age as not only a prolific writer, but one who could inspire with very few syllables and did an incredible job. So we're, we're going we're gonna to go over that today. And then I'm going to show you a song that is also from an artist that I do believe is necessary to have all the freedoms and right, rights bestowed upon them to, to uh, disseminate and to um, propagate to the masses if that's what they want to do, and then we have a choice to listen to it or not. But once again, the dichotomy, the 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 black and white yin and yang, complete antithetical-ness of these two pieces of modern day art are fairly clear. You may write me down in history. Oh, you guys are gonna make me put on my glasses. Holy God, it's a problem when you're almost fifty. <clears throat> me, me, me. Let me get a little sip of uh, jitter juice. As a guy named Old Time Hockey on Instagram, who I love to follow. He's the modern day Bob Ross. Go find Old Time Hockey, not H O C K E Y, but H A W K E Y. Old Time Hockey. It's fantastic. Here you go, buddy. You'll understand if you watch it. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and suns with certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes? Shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries. Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Because I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise? that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meetings of my thighs. 
out of the huts of history's shame, upon from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise. Maya Angelou, although I don't agree with everything she wrote, I believe that I agree that she has the right to say whatever she wanted and often did. And she doesn't need some white 50-year-old ex-vet talk show host to give her permission. Her words granted her access into the coffers of history, those catacombs that I talked about, the annals of history, because her writing is timeless. Now to delve into Cardi B and a song called which sounds like an Italian slur, so I'm going to pronounce it WAP instead, W-A-P. A very popular song in nightclubs and thumping in the low-riding vehicles of America. With twerks and jerks of gold chains and Gucci smelling of something other than Axe body spray, these words emanate through America and will forever live somewhere in history, maybe not the catacombs or with Maya Angelou work or Twain or Tennyson or Elliot, but certainly somewhere in the refuse where they are kept in the sewers of America. Whores in the house. There's some whores in the house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Hold up. It means hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Wet ass pussy. Make that pull out game weak. Woo. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You f with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Beat it up. N word. Won't say it. Whether it's E R or A, I can't say that word. I'm not allowed. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. It's very clever. That wasn't in the song. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. Spit my mouth, look at my eyes. This pussy wet, come take a dive. Tie me up like I'm surprised. Let's role play. I wear a disguise. I want you to park that Big Mac truck right in this little garage. Make it cr me scream out in public. Make a scene. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you, I got this ring. I, I. Got me, swap me, drip out of me. Yeah. Quick, jump out for you. Let it get inside me. Yeah. I tell him where to put it. I never tell him where I'm about to be. I run down on him for I have a, another blank N word, running me. Talk your sh bite your lip. Ask for a car while you ride that sh while you ride that sh You ain't never got a for a thing. He already made his mind up for he came. Can't wait for the eager anticipation of the next page. Doesn't even rhyme. Now get your boots, your coat. For this wet ass, he bought a phone. Just pictures of this wet ass. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass. Now make it rain if you want to see some wet ass. Listen, there might be a chronic condition that she needs to go to the gynecologist for. Normal wetness is fine, but this is Noah's Ark proportions. We need to start gaining two by twos and putting them on the plank to safety. This sounds like a very wet. Look, I need a hard hitter. I need a deep stroke. I need a Henny, Henny drink. Oh, Hennessy. Clever. No branding or corporate sponsorships there. She got me to say it, though. Sorry, Hennessy, if you'd like to send proceeds to the Don't Unfriend Me show. Whatever. Okay. I need a weed smoker. Well, there's a pretty good chance of that. A lot of people smoke pot. Not a garden snake. I need a king cobra. 
Man, baby, she needs a Colt 45 from Billy D. Williams. All right, enough. With a hook in it. Ha, 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 hope, <laughs> hop it, lean over. I don't know, whatever. I, I, I just, I don't have the capability to flow like Cardi B. Obviously, my lyrics aren't wet ass. Here's, here, we're going to surmise. He got some money. Then that's where I'm headed. Puss A1, just like his credit. He got beard while I'm tr trying to wet it. Oh, I see. I let him take it and now he diabetic. Oh, because it's sweet. Mm. I don't want to. Isn't. No, I'm not going to say it. I don't want to. I want to go. I want to get. I want to. I want you to touch that little dangly thing that swing in the back of my throat. Holy moly. I need a cold shower and a napkin. If you're going to sit here and tell me that that song's okay, you're also the people that are okay with putting in books about pedophilia and about gardeners sleeping with 13-year-old boys into our schools. And if you think that's made up, well, I challenge you to look at Fairfax, Virginia and Loudoun County Schools here in Virginia. If you think it's okay to talk to our children about sexuality, leave our kids alone, that isn't your job. We understand we used to have to compete with people like Madonna and Aerosmith and Run DMC and crazy movies like It and then Drinking Out of the Garden Hose and all of these things we gave to our children in small bite-sized packages to develop them into the human beings they are today. And we made mistakes. But if you're going to tell me that this is okay for a children of this generation to listen to and consume and not demonstrate a modicum of concern, then you have a serious problem. I can understand why people are upset with Jason Aldean and that the courthouse uh, had some atrocities in the 1940s that took place. I get that. But if you think that Jason Aldean knew that, you're insane. This guy is a borderline country music star. He's in the middle. He's not low. He's not high. He's right there. But if you think that he does post-production on his videos, that's insanity. Of course not. He hires a guy like me to do it or somebody who's better at it than I am. And you can go ahead and say that Oliver Anthony mentioned something about ding-dongs and people who are fat, but guess what? It's true. You don't have to like it. You don't have to love it, but it happens. Gluttony is just ugly, unfortunately. But what you don't get to do is sit here and pretend that that song has any benefit or gives anyone any satisfaction in the old brain box and gray matter area. It's not cerebral. It's not even that well written. It's just a bunch of sexual innuendo stuffed in a song sang by somebody who sells sex for a living. And I have no problem with that. I think everyone should be able to consume the things that they want as long as they're legal. But what you don't get to do is have the moral high ground. And we're not certainly claiming it either. We believe music should be entertaining, that movies should be entertaining, that books should be entertaining, and they should stop there. They should not be political ideology. They should not rewrite the masses of history. They should not be taken seriously like Maya Angelou or any of the greats throughout history. They should simply be taken for what they are. And as Jason Aldean and Oliver Anthony may not be your cup of tea, well, that's fine. Because with Cardi B, you can get something else that's wet and will hopefully quench your thirst. Folks, thanks for watching the Don't Unfriend Me show. My name is Matthew Spear. I appreciate it. If you like the show, follow me at The Dumb Show across all social media. You can go to thedumbshow.com, pick up a cool shirt like Leave Our Kids Alone. I don't have a wet ass pussy shirt. I'm working on it. We'll see. Unfortunately, I can't get it to dry so I can print on it. But otherwise, stop on by and say hello. We'll be live tonight at eight o'clock. Wednesday night, we'll be covering the Republican debates. Please join us. Olivia and I would both love to have you. For now, I am out. Good night. I'm David Boreanaz with the Cast of SEAL team, and we have an important message for returning vets. We want you to know if you're struggling to cope, there's help and it's just a phone call away. The Veterans Crisis Line is staffed with experienced professionals who know your struggles. There's no greater sacrifice in service to our country. We're able to enjoy our freedoms because of it. Your service is important. You are important. For vets and their families, the Veterans Crisis Line is here to help 24 hours a day. Please call.